Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. I posted this card on Monday using the Joy of Noel and the Christmas Classics bundles. They're found on page 28 through 32 of the Stampin' Up! September through December 2023 mini catalog. That's a mouthful. Coming out on September 6th, these are in a suite called The Joy of Christmas. And this paper here is so pretty. It was the Joy of Christmas DSP. And there's also a very pretty one called the Joyful Specialty Designer Series paper we're gonna use on some cards I'm gonna show you. So after I stamped the Noel very nicely there, I die cut it and had this negative left. Now let me just show you here what I did with that. So the dies that come with the Joy of Noel are so user-friendly. Look at how easily they go on. All you do is put them over those. I thought this was gonna be the just so hard to get it straight, but as long as you don't see any white, I've run these through about four or five, six, seven times, I think, everyone's turning out fine. So after I did that, of course, I did it on a piece of scratch, but I ended up with this Noel, and I looked in the dies that go with the Christmas classics, and they have these beautiful dies here. This square foliage holly berries that goes around and has the inside that stays with your die cut, and also this really neat one that has a sentiment die here. So I'm gonna show you how I use those, but I'm using them very effectively and making two cards. So here we go. These are the two cards I came up with. And the fun thing about these two cards is they only use one four by four of gold. So what I did is I wanted to wow both of the cards and I'm going to move my camera here a little bit. Sorry about that wobbly there. Um, I took one four by four gold. We know how valuable this stuff is mostly because it comes to in a pack and then you're always like, I know I have another pack somewhere. So I used a four by four piece. I cut that square wreath. And as you can see, the middle stays inside the die. And then I put two of these fun little, where, oh, here, here we go. I put two of these fun little leaves here right out of the middle. Those are the two gold leaves that went onto this card, okay? And so we'll just pop that out of there. So we have one and I had another one over here. And then you'll see that this easily pops out. It's so pretty. I love the detail on that. So this is going to be going on this card. And then we have this left. Now, as you'll notice here, I've got a nice accent here. I was going to put just a plain piece of paper under there, but I looked at that beautiful joy full Joyful Specialty Designer Series paper. And I cut a piece the exact same size as the die that goes right in the middle of this. Now this die, if you bought the Christmas Classics stamp set, fits beautifully around these big sentiments here. But also, you could put any sentiment in there. And Noel from the other set, the Joy of Noel stamp set, because you can see that these two um, stamp sets in a suite together complement each other with the same scripty font and the same sketchy design on the images. So I took, and I'm gonna put this over here. So I cut out a piece of this really pretty shaded spruce with gold accents on it. And it's the same as this Noel. And then, oh, there's my glue. I, and make sure you don't lose that, the middle of that O. I just put some glue on the back of that. And this is super easy to do because you're just putting it right onto the same size of a piece of paper. So I'm putting, I've just got all kinds of extraneous little linty things around here. So I just put that right on that joyful specialty designer paper. Oh, I love that shaded spruce and gold. So there you go, whoop. And my O goes right there in the middle 
So make sure you don't forget that O or you'll be digging in the garbage or die cutting another O. So then I just took and put dimensionals on the back of, and I'm going to put them on the two sides here because I slipped in some shaded spruce on this card. I took a piece of, I actually had a piece cut here, but I was able to get that big piece that comes out of the Christmas Classics dies. And I did two of the leaves on, I guess, yeah, like sprigs, they're sprigs, um, that are gonna go on this gold card. So I didn't wanna put too many um, dimensionals on here because they're gonna slide in on this side. So let me just put a little bit of glue on these little guys. That's not a little bit of glue. That's a lot of bit of glue. Okay, and I should have my craft mat under here, but I don't. So I ended up putting that kind of coming out of the top of this and the bottom here. Just tried to get it to match, kind of. You can see they're kind of symmetrical. And I have a little piece of something on there. Okay, so now I know where my, the rest of my dimensionals could go on this card. I loved that I could put um, the, both of those dies on the gold and not waste any of my gold. And you know, just a little bit of gold adds so much to these card to a card. You don't need to have a huge covering over the entire thing. So we're gonna put that right in the middle of the gold. Just kind of center it there, eyeball it. There we go. And I see a couple little pieces here. I did have my, I'll just get out my little tweezers. Just break out those little pieces of gold there. Oh, this is, gold is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then I simply, on this card, use the Merry Melody because every time I hear Noel, I want to sing the Noel, Noel, Noel born is the king of Israel. Um, so I always just think of music when I think of the word Noel. So I use that Merry Melody embossing folder. Now remember, this embossing folder is upside down. So if you put your paper in this, the way you normally run it through, it, it's okay, but the music is correct this way. So make sure your stamping up is up there because you can see here with, I don't even know what these are, the trebles and the bass clefts and all this, they're on this left side. And then the music, as I have been told, is correct that way. <laughs> so I did that on both of these cards here. Um, I just thought that it was just beautiful to go with that. So let's take a little look here. As you see, I already had one of these. I just put that Merry Melody right on the front of that card. And then I just simply put that gold on and you can see the difference of having the shaded spruce. It just gave another pop to the card. When I first made it, I didn't have those in there. And that really brings in the card base of shaded spruce and the shaded spruce and the DSP, one, two, three. And so that like really, another thing I would maybe do is maybe get some gold accents, like um, any of your embellishments that have that, maybe you could, you know, put a few here and there. Maybe I'll do that before I post the card. Um, so that was one card that I made. Now, if you take a look at this other card that I made, it also has some fun pieces here. I used the Merry Melody once again on the front, and then I took the Shaded Spruce and I put that big die that is me see here. The Noel dies are here. And the I have one set of the dies. Where is the other one? Oh, here it is right behind me. Um, this nice big one here. And look at this piece that goes in here. This is awesome. This would be cutting out some like 
the season's greetings from that stamp set right there. You could put the Christmas and you could put happy or merry with it. So this is awesome for your dies. It also has some other pieces here that can cut into your paper. So this is really a great um, suite. A lot of fun things you can combine with those two sets. And so what I did is I took these gold that I cut out of the middle and I just tucked them in underneath underneath this label tag big die here. I just popped those under there and then I just put the letters that I stamped and cut out and then used the negative on this card. So essentially you're getting two cards, these two cards made from one four by four piece because we cut out that big die with the two pieces in the middle. Then we ended up having these two pieces go on underneath this label. And then we just cut out two green to go under this label. We put the joyful specialty designer series paper under that. So you literally are double timing um, the amount of cards that you're making so easily. I mean, just so easily. Um, landscape and portrait. And it just, it started off with stamping Noel, die cutting Noel, putting paper behind the Noel, and voila, you have two cards out of one four by four of gold. Isn't that gorgeous? So I think that you're going to have a lot of fun with this stamp set. Christmas Classics has these dies, the Christmas Classics dies, and the Noel, Joy of Noel dies. It cuts out this really pretty image here, and it has some pine sprigs there and some berries, and it also cuts out this piece here. Where is this piece? What does this go to? I'm not sure what this goes to. Or does it cut out? Oh, it cuts out this piece here because it's actually going to cut out around it. Um, oh, I'm I'm thinking <laughs> you are going to laugh at this. I was thinking these dies were used together that it was like connected. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Oh, Joy of Noel, the Christmas Classics dies can give you two gorgeous cards. So take a look at that on page 28, 29, 30, 31 of the new mini catalog. And on September 6th, it'll be live for you to be able to do that. But I just love the fact that we could just make two cards and only use one four by four of gold. And it all came about from making this card on Sunday to post on Monday. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for buzzing by friends. Make sure you subscribe to my blog and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I like to post a video on Wednesdays, post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday usually. And right after the YouTube description, you'll see it says visit my blog here. Press that link. It takes you over to see photos of the cards and links to my online store, which are also underneath the YouTube description. Measurements are there and also over on my blog. And again, thanks for buzzing by, friends.